Hey everybody, Andrew here. Welcome to Living the Northern Life. Today, we're back on the Jeep and we've got a big project in store for you today. So we just opened this box up and the reason we needed a brand new knuckle is because this ball joint is not replaceable. Uh, you have to buy the whole steering knuckle. Uh, so this is going to be our new job. We were hoping to wait for this job until the springtime, but unfortunately we need this vehicle now. Uh, we were gonna fix it up for my daughter so that when she got her full license in the spring that she was gonna be able to drive it. But uh, we need it now. So, uh, so this is what we're up to. So if you like this, give us a thumbs up, uh, leave your comments down below, and uh, it would be great if you'd subscribe. Okay, so the job's over pretty much as soon as it started. Uh, we bought a 32 mil socket uh, to, for the, uh, uh, the lock nuts here for the, uh, the axles. Uh, I thought that this was going to do all four tires, but the, I guess it's the one in the back that's a 32 and the one in the front here is a 36. So uh, kind of done until I get a 36 mil uh, impact socket uh, so I can take this apart. So it is the next day. Uh, I went out and bought myself a new 36 mil socket. I've got to unpinch these two spots. Um, hopefully it'll work out. I've never done this before. Uh, it is the next day. But anyway, uh, we'll give this a shot. I bought myself some uh, punches here to see if we can straighten this out. So this one here, there's no cotter key in it. It's just pinched on both sides. So, I don't know, looks a little weird, but we'll try to straighten it out. And then we'll use the big Milwaukee to hopefully take that bolt off, um, the nut, sorry, and, uh, and give this a try. I'm gonna try the impact. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna work, but <clears throat> I'll give it a shot. Well, that was fantastic. Now we gotta pull out this Allen key that's holding the uh, rotor on. Pop off the, the tie rod. I'm gonna give these a couple taps. But... That is really on there. It's coming. So the next thing we have to figure out is how to get the uh, sensor out. It's just a line that goes up, but uh, I'm not really sure how to take this thing apart. And I see that there's a block over here, but it's all covered in underspray. Try to figure that out. Now I'm hoping that just pushes down and slides off. Oh. 
So on this side here, there is a little hole in the back that I had to push on to release the clip. That's on there with a 10 millimeter socket. Separate these rubber grommets, so I've got a little bit of room in there. So all the other ones that I've seen, this whole thing, the uh, sensor and all that comes out with the wheel bearing. Um, but with this bolt on the back of this one, um, I'm not really sure how this comes apart. So I'm going to grab a flat screwdriver, let's see if I can separate it. those bolts back in so you know where they went. And this is going to rip my face off. I'm removing the sway bar link here. That's going to be interesting. Okay, I'm going to let that down again. So I'm free here. I think it's an E14. All right, so we're gonna give this a shot one more time. My son's gonna give me a hand. He's, you want the, the fork? Yep, and he's gonna press down here. You know, yeah, you and I'm gonna grab the fork. Okay, so we got this little fork thing, the ball joint separator. Elijah's gonna push down on the crowbar and I'm gonna pound this in. Well, it just doesn't want to go. So, we'll try this one. There it goes. Okay. Hold on. I can't get much more. No, it's okay. Leverage on that. Move this. I just gotta try to support that a little bit. Oh boy, that's slipping. Where's the big one again? There. <laughs> so close. There it goes. There we go. Want me to let this go? Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and now I want to take this off. I'm removing the bolt that connects the knuckle to the suspension. Here I took the bolt out of the back and it just needed a little persuasion to get it down. There we go. So we're going to take this inside. We'll try to take that off. Uh, we'll take the bolts out. But All right, so we're back at this. Uh, it doesn't look like this sensor is going to come out so uh, I bought a new one um, and we got the brand new knuckle we got the new wheel bearing so first thing that we're gonna do is slide the new knuckle on the shock and then mount it uh, we'll put the drive shaft through and then hopefully we can mount that in the 
in the A-arm. So uh, my son's given, gonna give me a hand. I'm gonna set that aside. We'll need these bolts, but uh, we'll put this uh, knuckle together first. So this is the bolt from the uh, from the old one. It's gonna go through the hole here and uh, lock the shock up. just gonna set this together for now. Okay. We can bolt that up after. One thing you want to make sure before you put this back together is that the um, sway bar link is not underneath your uh, your uh, tie rod end here. So. I guess I need to come over on the other side now. Yeah, I was th I was thinking that Maybe if I you if you go like this. With my foot and just oh, I think killed him in the way. Put that in. Just watch your fingers, though. I get the drive shaft in too, eh? Yep. Put the drive shaft in. Just a little lower. Okay, there you go. That's in. Yep. All right, that was really simple. <laughs> wow, I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but uh, that was nice and simple. Uh, the nut for that, we put on the other one, so I we'll have it. There we, there go. we go. Are you just going to put everything together and then put the nut, the put block tight on it? Mil? This doesn't fit. Okay, so now we've also had to order a new uh, tie rod end because this bushing right here uh, is still in the brand new one and I can't take it out and this one won't come off without wrecking the whole tie rod uh, so I don't know if it's just rusted on there or if that's the way it's supposed to be uh, not much I can do about it so I ordered that so we're gonna put the rest of this back together and tomorrow uh, we'll put the tie rod on and uh, we should be good to go Okay, so we're just gonna add a little bit of grease in here as well. I'm gonna just put it all over the outside there. All right, so I'm gonna steal one of these bolts just so I can get it held and lined up. I'm trying to get the splines all in together. Just push this into place. All right, so I need a bolt with uh, Loctite on it. Okay, so we've set our torque wrench up for 70 uh, foot-pounds. We're gonna put these bolts in on the back. Um, we're gonna use a ratchet to begin. I'm gonna put them in here quickly with the, with the Milwaukee. And then uh, we'll uh, use the torque wrench. So that'll take that Loctite about 24 hours to uh, to tighten up. But all of them are set to 70 foot-pounds. We'll do the bottom bolt here then. And uh, well, I guess we'll wait for uh, the tie rod end because if we would have to put the uh, rotor back on so that we could put the brake and the uh, bracket back on. Uh, so we'll just wait on that again. So we'll uh, put the bottom bolt on We'll pick you guys up in the morning or tomorrow. The torque wrench. You don't want to over torque, torque it. Right there. And that's that's it. And now uh, we have to somehow measure this to 175 degrees. All right, so that's it for now, guys. We'll uh, we'll pick this job up again tomorrow. Let's see if we can make some more headway. Uh, we've got a new tie rod end. Uh, we're gonna put that together. Make sure that our, uh, 
our sway bar link is out of the way. Uh, we have our speed wheel sensor that we need to put in here as well, but we'll get started at this. Now we measured 26 centimeters in here before. And that is exactly where we are. Perfect, so we'll hit the jam nut. And you're supposed to have it at 59 pounds, foot pounds, but I don't have a wrench that can do that. So I'm just gonna tighten that up. Put this in the going to tighten that one up yet. So this just clips together. There, those are together. That plugs in there. Like that. that connects there. connects there, and that connects like that. Okay, so that's back together. Now we just have to tighten up that nut. Put that was 10 mil, yep. Okay, that's in. Okay, so we just, we just got our brake guard bolts. Put those in just for now so we don't lose them and they just go in these three holes here okay and i don't want to put that brake guard on yet because i want to be able to tighten this up uh, so i'm going to go get the torque wrench and uh, see if we can get this done this is I think they set it at 22 pounds and then you turn it 90 degrees. I'm not sure why Jeep does that. Uh, you definitely can't tell if it's torqued well enough in my books. Um, but what do I know? We're just learning this stuff. So we got this set for 22 pounds. Okay, so we're at our 22 pounds. And now we have to turn it 90 degrees. So I'm going to use my wrench. There we go. Okay, so that's set. Uh, maybe what we'll do now is we'll put the jack under here. We'll lift uh, that to put the Sway bar link back in, and we'll tighten it up. We're going to use the jack to lift this up until the sway bar link is in the right spot. I want to be careful, keep my fingers out of the way. Okay, so we got a 15 mil gear wrench. Okay, so we have 41 foot pounds on here. And this is to tighten up the stabilizer to the sway arm. Okay, just check that again. There we go. Next, we've got to put the brake dust uh, protector on. So we'll take out these three bolts. Way easier if we can see. I haven't found any torque specs for these, so I'm just going to uh, grab the 10 mil wrench and put those on. I got the 10 mil socket here. I 
I'm not gonna kill these things. Next, we'll get the rotor and we stored our bolt back in this one. And it's going to line up right there. Just tuck that on. Get these pliers. We'll take the brake caliber down. The whole brake is just held up here by a little wire. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to take that apart. All right, so let's put this caliper on. We'll find the torque specs for those. We'll do that, but right now we gotta take the brake caliper off, uh, put this pad back on. Taking it off with the, you know, just those bolts was great, uh, but the pad came out, and so I've now, now I've gotta put it back together. I think we only need to take one out. We will take, I don't know, try to take the bottom one. We'll take our compressor here now. Okay, so those are both collapsed. That should be good. All right, we get the torque specs for those. And then we have the center bolt to uh, tighten up. Just make sure that that's on. And I think that goes to 180 pounds or something. So let's make sure where this is. Okay, we'll put it on number two. We'll tighten it up. Okay. Go get the torque specs for those. Okay, so this center, the center hub is supposed to be 148. There we go, 148 pounds. What do you know? <laughs> Our holes line up. I'm going to tighten that up just a little bit more because they don't line up perfectly. And I think we can get it. It needs to go just a little bit. good there. Now we'll uh, put a tire back on but we're gonna put a winter tire back on and then uh, switch this all around. I have uh, put the brake cap back on so other than putting the tire back on we're finished here guys. Well guys I hope you guys found that a little bit informative. Uh, I was looking all over the place on how to replace a knuckle and uh, there wasn't really anything out there. As you can see I did lots of stuff wrong. Uh, I've totally got the wrong um, uh, ball joint separators. You need ones that kind of uh, pinch together and there's a bolt on the end so that way um, This is the ball joint remover that I was talking about. I just picked this up at Princess Auto and basically um, You put it into the ball joint and it's gonna press there So what I'm expecting is that this brass bushing is gonna come off. So Elijah's going to uh, put our uh, Impact on here right now, and we're gonna give this a shot. And that's how I was expecting that to happen. I was figuring that there's gonna be a lot of pressure behind it, and I was right. The bushings, there's brass bushings on, on the front uh, knuckles. Um, when we took them apart like we would uh, our Ford truck, um, 
there's no bushings in the Ford truck. So you just kind of bang them out and that's it. Well, what happened in this knuckle is that that bushing came out. Uh, I don't have the right tool. Um, the tool was $75. This, um, uh, the tie rod end is got 230,000 kilometers on it. So it's almost shot anyway. So I thought I'll just get a new, uh, new tie rod end and uh, we'll put that together. We have a bunch more work to do on this. We got to do both rear knuckles. So if that's something that you're interested in, uh, follow along, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below. And until the next one, keep living the Northern life. Thanks for watching Living the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.